Hi everyone, in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over how to change the profiling when you're doing uh, keyframing of zooms and other uh, sizing changes in Resolve. So what we're going to do here is just to show you how this works, uh, I'm going to program some uh, zooms within this shot. And so what we can do here is, as you can see, you've got your corrector one, which equates to node number one, and you have the sizing list. So if I want to mark just the sizing area, I click here to sizing, and then right mouse click on this and select add a dynamic keyframe. And then we come over here and we select to say we want it to stop there, add a static keyframe. And then what we can do next is we can do a zoom like here and then let's pan it over and maybe even tilt it up a little bit like so. Okay so now if I come back here and look at that you can see we've got a very linear move in the picture. So now I want to make this look more camera-like. So the easy way to do that is to highlight the particular uh, keyframes that we have here. Right mouse click on it and then in the menu that appears select change dynamic attributes. And there you have this widget that will appear and this shows me the dissolve type. It defaults to one and one but what we want to do is change it to two and two. So what we do here is just take the sliders and slide it over to two and two. As you can see, now we have a slope from start to end. Now when I click on OK, you'll notice that the orange points that have been highlighted will turn white now. That indicates that this change has taken effect. And now if I want to come over here, as you can see here, it's much more smooth and camera-like when we're doing this. There are also other parameters that can be changed in that area. For example, if I highlight that again, change dynamic attributes, and then as you can see, if you come here, you can see all the various, whether it's instead of slowing down and speeding up, you can have it speeding up, slowing down, and then you have various different ways you can change this here. So for more tips and tricks like this, have a look at the other videos on our YouTube channel. And for more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. Thanks and have a great day.